Um, I'm here to speak for um, for us, for us as a team, as a team as lighting designers. Team as lighting designers, uh, we are located in Hamburg. Uh, we are 12 people, and um, the office is founded 30 years ago by Peter Andres, uh, the guy in the center. Um, and what we are in here, this uh, is the artificial sky in in uh, in our office, um, and is somehow the heart of the office with the people in, but as well the artificial sky as well as uh, heart of the office. Uh, these are the partners um, since the last uh, two years, and this is Mr. Andres himself, the artificial sky. As I mentioned, uh, we will come up to this later on. This is the office environment. And what, what we are dealing with is normal, normal design, normal daylight design, normal artificial lighting design, but as well, we are focusing a lot of materials, of transmissions, reflectances, and um, the, the, uh, the, the changing of reflectances in the certain angles. But as a, as a lighting design office, we are not able to, to, to spend that much money in, in photogoniometers or something like this. We try to do this with a very simple, a very, uh, for the client, understandable way um, projects we could skip. Um, the office, uh, no, the models, the models in the in the office, um, the models in the artificial sky, uh, were built as big as possible to fit into the sky. So this means for this um, uh, for this project, it is um, the science science center for Zaha Hadid, uh, which were uh, refurbished by us in, in uh, 2005, I guess. Uh, it is uh, 4.5 uh, meters in diameter, so we just have 30 centimeters to get along um, a side of this model in the, in the, in the sky. Uh, and they were built that big so that the client has, has a deep impression of, of the rooms and of the spaces um, which are interesting to, to focus on. But models do not have to be that big all the time. This mock-up of a, of a small castle, it's the castle of Kaup in the, in the River Rhine. Um, we, we built because we want to reduce the, uh, the, the luminances for the, um, uh, for the, for the outer, outer illumination. And I came up with this uh, with these pictures because um, when when we ha when we talk to clients, it's always problems that clients do not understand numbers. Uh, clients do not do not understand numbers like candela per meter square, lux. Maybe they heard, but luminances most of the time they do not really know. So what we did is we did this this mock up and we to the, together with the client with a in a, in a dark meeting room uh, with. Um, uh, a few cups of coffee. Uh, with the time, we, we reduced the uh, the illuminances. No, the luminances of the of the facade. Uh, always keeping the priority which he has chosen before. So the tire, tower has to be has to be posi um, in, in 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 the mid ground should be uh, in priority one, and the outer facade should be uh, with a bit of splotchy, irregular non 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 perfect illumination um, should be should be set to the lowest uh, lowest um, uh, luminance which which was possible for us in the meeting room and in the end we tried to to realize this as well this is what the client does not interest but this what we interested in this is the numbers this is what the client gets so we are the technical part and to get the client what he wants to have. Um, another uh, simple um, project which we were, um, in, in this project we were in, in, involved for the last 20 years, it's the airport in Hamburg, and we did the artificial light as well, then the, the daylight, the diffuse daylight concept, and as well the shading systems which in former days, which were embedded in the counters. Um, and after 20 years, the people got problems with glare, 
at once. Maybe it's because close to it a new a new terminal um, was built and they want to be want, they want to move in, and they were not allowed anyway. They they said they could not work in this environment and. Um, so the client asks us, so the airport asks us what to do with the skylights, how to cover them so that there is no glue, uh, no glare at all, and they want to cover them with, uh, with fabric or with, with coatings constantly. Um, with five years of, of um, discussion, uh, we came up with a, with a dynamic solution, which, uh, of course, it's the most imp um, ex um, the most expensive uh, solution what we could do, but um, it is somehow what, what is best for the building. And as well, this is something uh, the client is not, um, he's, he's not aware of, the, of, of what, what it means, what it costs to get there, because um, he wants, wants to keep the surrounding. Um, this is a, as a, as a short, um, as, as, as a short instruction, uh, you all might know it's the it's the Velox house in in Germany. Um, I've chosen this because in this building we have uh, five up to twelve percent, no five up to six percent more daylight than it is mentioned in the Dean norms, and uh, what what normal clients would expect what to do when when we do architecture. But in here it is. Uh, it is recommended that um, uh, the people in this environment they do not uh, they do not have problems with heat. They do not have problems with the um, with with other disturbances. They they enjoy this uh, this this high lit environment without knowing about what it costs to get there somehow. Um, I've brought in this because uh, we are focusing on on this tiny, small um, discipline. A lot of other disciplines were uh, were needed in architecture. Oops. Um, and um, you all might know this. This is this what we saw as well um, uh, one hour ago um, or half an hour ago. This this melatonin cortisol rhythm. And um, when we are dealing with this as lighting designer, we always have this small gap uh, for daylight hours, what we have in, in Germany, for example, here in, in, uh, in Hamburg. And when we skip out all these hours, which are taken out to, be, to, to, to sleep, uh, we have this, uh, this green area. Um, and in this green area, we have this area where we have to work on. And um, when in this area, we work in office environments or in, 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 in inner room environments in daylight factors less, less than uh, or in, in somehow like 1%, it is, it is very hard to get um, the needed amount of light. Um, and when we add artificial light as well, then um, it is very obvious that we just have this time span to work with uh, with biological uh, with the biolog biological effects of, of light, so we as lighting designer we try to to get the people uh, to reach the people in the environment in which they are as as long as possible in this in this uh, time. So um, this is the daylight um, which we have in Aachen. Uh, Got, uh, we got them from the um, from the Deutsche, Deutsche Wetterdienst weather service, uh, and we took out the hours in which we have uh, 1,000 lux in the outside or more. So this is um, this is the the time we could we could play with daylight for uh, for a switch room. We skip them. No time. Uh, for a switch room, the switch room is located somehow in the area of Cologne, and um, we we try to to raise the the daylight income in this room as to to have more than 1,000 lux as well in the winter time. So we do not start with daylight factors because daylight factors does not mean anything to the client. What uh, means to the client something is that the 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 amount of of uh, the amount of daylight 
is raised as much as possible uh, in the area where the client works. And uh, so we as designers, we started uh, with uh, developing some, some uh, roof system, skylights, um, and, and most of the time we are focused on this. We are very, we are very happy to, to, to reach daylight factors of 9% and then we play with direct parts and with diffuse and glary, uh, glancy parts and so on and those. And this is what we are, that what we are very focused on. But uh, normal clients, um, somehow they are interested in the, in the total amount of daylight. But what they, what they really work in is uh, how it looks like. Um, so we, maybe I skip this. When we talk about this as daylight designers, um, client sees this. So we, we uh, for this project, we built a big model. It is uh, 2.5 uh, meters, six, uh, 70 centimeters high and one meter deep. Uh, and for this mo uh, model, we, we uh, developed several uh, ceilings, which we could put on three uh, systems we uh, we have designed, and uh, the client had chosen one. So this one chosen ceiling. This is the mock-up in the in the in the artificial sky. And those are the certain <laughs> systems in the ceiling. And wh why we are doing this is because normal clients do not really care about numbers. They want to be in this in this room. They want to live, they want, to, they want to adapt in this room, they want to sit in this room, um, two of our clients, uh, and they want to, to have this, uh, this inner view. And um, what we did as well is uh, we embedded then uh, an artificial lighting system which uh, guides the people through the day. Second one. Thank you.